Okay, this is uh, October 2022, P1 paper. It's question number two. And if we have a quick look at it, we can see the first part is going to be um, work on algebraic expressions. It's going to be expanding brackets. And the second part is going to be some sort of integration. But let's get started with part A. So part A is saying, can I show that this left-hand side here is identical to that? And basically, can I work out what A and B are going to be? Yeah, absolutely. What I'm going to do then is I'm just going to multiply out. Whoops. Mistake straight away. I'm going to multiply out x minus 5, 2x plus 1, x plus 3. And then it will come to some cubic and uh, look very similar to the right-hand side. So when I'm doing this, I've got a choice here. I can do x minus 5 multiplied by all of that bit or I can do multiply out those two first of all and then subsequently multiply them by x plus 3. Neither way is any quicker than the other with this one. It doesn't matter which way around you do it. Um, I'm going to decide to multiply out these second two brackets here. Okay, And if I'm multiplying these out, it is this times this and this times this and that times that and that times that. But at this level, I'm not expecting to have to explain that to any of you. So however you get it, you should multiply that out to get 2x squared plus 7x plus 3. Might take you a couple of lines to do it, absolutely fine. But that's the end result of that one. Now multiplying all of this by x minus 5. This should always be fairly straightforward because I'm basically going to do x times all of that, which is a really easy thing to work out and then minus 5 times all of that. So we shouldn't really be making mistakes uh, at this level of doing this. x times all of it is going to give me 2x cubed, 7x squared, and 3x. It's nice and simple because we're just adding an x onto all of those terms. And then multiplying everything by minus 5, I'm going to get <coughs> minus 10x squared, minus 35x, and minus 15. So now I just need to tidy that all up. So that equals that equals that equals. Uh, the 2x cubed obviously isn't going to change. But with the uh, x squared, I've got plus 7 minus 10. So that's minus 3x squared. With the x's, I've got plus 3 minus 35. So that's minus 32x. And then just the minus 15. And that's why it's now useful to have our answer here. Because obviously, if I didn't get minus 32 and minus 15 for those last two terms, I'd be worried about the rest of it. But because I've got those right, I'm pretty sure then I can say that A equals 2 and B equals minus 3 is okay on the comparison for that first part, part A. Okay, part B says, hence, find the integral of this, which is really going to be the integral of that thing divided by 5 root x. I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to write that out. I'm going to then work out what each individual term is by dividing by 5 root x. And then I'll have something not very nice to integrate, but I'm pretty happy with uh, my game plan for actually attacking this. So the integral of x minus 5, 2x plus 1, x plus 3, all over... 5 root x dx is the same as the integral of the bit we just worked out. So 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 32x minus 15. All divided by 5 root x. And now I can do each term individually, okay? Now, um, depending on, um, just because I'm explaining to you guys, I wouldn't necessarily do this next step, but it's the integral of 2x cubed over 5x to the half minus 3x squared over 5x to the half minus 32. So it's taking a bit of time, isn't it, just to do all this. And this is more just explaining it to you. If I was doing it myself, I'd probably miss out that step and actually just go ahead and do it. So still integrating. I haven't actually done anything yet. We're still tidying this all up. I've obviously got two fifths here. And then x cubed 
divided by x to the half. So take away the powers. Just think about it. Um, cubed is 6 over 2, isn't it? So 6 over 2, take away 1, is going to be x to the 5 over 2. 3 fifths. And then x squared, well, that's 4 over 2. So 4 over 2, take away 1 over 2, is going to give me 3 over 2. A bit quicker now. Uh, that's just x to the half there, and that's going to be 3x to the minus half dx. So quite a bit of algebra involved in here. Just be absolutely careful as you're going through and doing these. You don't want to make any mistakes. And we've done all of that before we can actually now do the process of um, integrating. So if I'm going to integrate, I add 1 onto the power and divide by the new power. Let me just do this with one of these terms and then I'll show you what we're doing for the rest of it. So if we take this first term, if I'm going to add 1 onto the power, it becomes that. And if I'm going to divide by 7 over 2, yes, you can have 2 fifths divided by 7 over 2 if you want, but I don't tend to do that. What I tend to do is to say I've got my 2 fifths Dividing by 7 over 2 is the same as timesing by 2 over 7. So timesing by 2 over 7, that's much easier now to be able to tidy that up in a second. I can see what that is. It's 4 over 35. So I'm not going to keep doing divided by the new power. If it's fractions, let's do it with the next one. I'm doing it a bit quicker. So for the next one, add 1 onto the new power, makes 5 over 2. Dividing by 5 over 2 is times in by 2 over 5. Okay, and the next one. So add 1 onto the new power becomes that. Dividing by 3 over 2 is the same as timesing by 2 over 3. Let's make it clear what I'm doing in terms of my timesing there. Uh, and then the last one. Add 1 onto the new power is that. Dividing by a half is the same as timesing by two. If you want to put dividing by a half, I'll just put it on the last one so you can see. I could have done that on all of them, plus my constant. But I think it's easier now when I'm tidying this all up to get my final answer. I've got 4 over 35 x to the 7 over 2. I've got 6 over 25 x to the 5 over 2. I've got, what have I got there, 64 over 15 x to the 3 over 2, and I've got minus 6, x to the half plus c. I'm surprised that at some stage, when we had something like that, that there weren't things cancelling out, but that's fine. They decided not to do that with this one. So this is my answer in its simplest form. So that's question number two finished. Hopefully that all makes sense.